Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to look at the Mattel Wrestling Reckon Slambulance. This is basically an ambulance for your Mattel wrestling figures, both basic and elite. This should work for pretty much all your 6 and 7 inch action figures. So the reason I got this is mainly because it's an ambulance in the 1 12th scale. You don't get a lot of vehicles like this. My collection is predominantly Batman and related, so I can think of a ton of uses for an ambulance in my Gotham City. I also collect wrestling figures, so plenty of uses for this thing. Now looking at this, you should be able to fit two people in the front seat and that sounds absolutely amazing. We will check out what different action figure lines will work with this thing throughout the video. I was also thinking if someone had the skill or patience, you could probably customize this into a really cool vehicle. An all black van of some sort, maybe a SWAT unit because it already has a siren on top. Just some thoughts. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. See the top wrestling logo. Inside of it, I see Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, The Undertaker. Launching action looks like it can break apart the top, the side, the back, the doors. Bumper to bumper destruction. There's some sort of code to scan. Reckon Slambulance Mattel Age of Six Plus. Crush me. Can totally smash the top and try the store. And here's the front of this thing. So far, it looks like a big semi truck the way this box is. Can't wait to open this thing up and see how good it is or bad. The top, here it is, looks like it has a little stretcher as well. Back side, just a picture of all the figures in there again. The bottom, there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. And on the back side, a whole bunch of different action scenes with various wrestling figures. Now I will say, I got my set from Amazon.com, I think it was like $39. Seems like it's going to be a really good value. The price of two action figures for a unique, huge vehicle. I just hope the thing is not disappointing. So with no further ado, let's crack it open. And yes, I did end up getting two of these things. I thought to myself, I can have two ambulances in my Gotham City. Or, better yet, maybe I can actually turn one into something else. All right, now that we got this thing out of the box, here it is as it was in the package. There are several breakaway pieces that are not attached, but these are not all the pieces that are movable. More stuff will come off. So it looks like we've got a side of the ambulance here, a stretcher, looks like maybe a door for the other side, with some removable panels. The back door is open, top part opens up, the front doors are going to open, and then you can't smash in the hood. It also came with some separate decals, and I was so impressed with these things. The wrestling logos are optional, so for a guy like me that wants to use this as a regular ambulance, it doesn't have to reflect wrestling. Some neutral lights back here, and then we have the Slambulance logo. Guess what? Cut that part off, and it simply says Ambulance. Very pleased with these decals. Here it is with what I believe are all the removal parts detached. And here it is with all the pieces attached, looking like a regular ambulance for the most part. So let's take a quick look at this thing. One side here is where the breakaway wall was. We've got black wheels, little silver step stool to get inside. The top here, it does open up. Front door is open. As we rotate it around, you see the hood it can be destroyed. Wrestling logo at the front, Reckon 1. Continue to rotate around, other door. Then we've got doorway here that leads to a hidden compartment, and we'll look at all these things in detail. The back side, I really like this. Ambulance, two opening doors, two bars to hold on to, and we've even got some pegs down here for the peg holes in the action figure's feet. Overall, not disappointed. And the bottom here, a little bit of detail. Next, let's go and attach the decals. And remember, I'm only going to attach some of them as I want to keep this a regular ambulance as much as possible. You do also get an instruction manual that will go over all the different breakaway features. 
and it will also show you where all the decals go. And here it is with the decals attached. You can see regular ambulance up top here, got some lights. One thing I found kind of odd, you can attach the decals here as well as the wrestling logo here, but the decals on the back were attached for you. I might actually take the time to remove these and cut this part off. In fact, I'm pretty certain I will do that. Love it, regular ambulance. Here are both the ambulances next to each other. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at the ambulance, next let's check out its measurements. So from front to back, this thing is about 17 inches deep. From bottom to top, sitting at about 8.5 inches tall. And then from one side to the other, sitting at about 6.5 inches wide. Next, let's check out all of its accessories and action features. So the back side here, the doors can open. And then you can see the inside of the ambulance. It's got this pretty cool stretcher inside of there. Once you take the stretcher out, this is how it looks. It's got functioning rolling wheels at the bottom. It's got a seat belt on there that has a peg here. You can detach it. And it's permanently attached on the other side. I think it's pretty well done. Should accommodate most of your figures. It's a pretty nice size there. Let's take a Braun Strowman figure here. One of the biggest wrestling figures they make and see how he fits on the stretcher. Here he is laying on the stretcher. Fits on there pretty nicely. Feet hang off just a tad. The seatbelt is stretched pretty thin, but it works. Take your ambulance, spin it around so we can see inside. Take the stretcher put it in it's got a sort of path to go on there goes all the way in there you can shut the doors with complete clearance no problem at all so in addition to getting the stretcher as cool as that is by itself it also has an action feature this thing can launch out of the back on the front of the vehicle the license plate says reckon one you can press that in it's a button that's going to launch the guy out now I have the doors securely shut on the back. They have an area where they sort of attach in. It's not gonna push those doors open when they're fully secure. But if you have the doors just sort of cracked shut, press on the license plate, he launches out. Very nicely executed. In order to load the stretcher after it's been deployed, take your stretcher, put it on the inside. It's got a track that sort of goes onto. Once it hits some resistance, push it in, and you can kind of hear it click into place. Once that's in, it's launched, ready to go. Let's see how far it goes with the doors already completely open. And away he goes. Not much difference. Mainly, if you completely shut the doors and latch them in there, it won't go out of there. But if the doors are at least cracked shut, you can have a pretty cool action scene going on there. And then, as far as what breaks away and what doesn't, let's start at the back here. Two back doors can open. I think it looks great. You can pop these off pretty easily. And you can use them to hit each other and just break off, maybe explode the doors, get whoever's inside, rescue them, or perhaps kidnap them. Next, let's check out the top parts. You can open it up, play with your figures on the inside, and you can also pop these things off pretty easily as well. And then on one side, as we saw earlier, you can punch out the side, have a really big hole here. On the other side, we've got these two sort of doorway pieces. Don't really function as a doorway, you can't really twist them off, but pull them off. And there's almost a storage area in there. Looks like you could put some stuff in there, maybe hang up some accessories or weapons, maybe even store some medical equipment. And then the siren will come off the top here. You can break that. And then at the front, both the doors, not only can they open, but they can also be removed. A little clamp here that's gonna fit onto a small little pell on the inside. 
So in addition to that, the windshield can also come out. One solid piece. And then the hood can be broken into. You can slam a figure onto there, push it up. And of course, you can take that off. On the inside here, kind of like an engine, although it's got a wrestling logo on it, a little bit of an odd place for that. In addition to that, the wheels move. Overall, it's a pretty good sized vehicle. And of course, there's the button that goes in on the front to launch out the stretcher. And while we've got this thing mostly apart, while you can see on the inside, let's look at some of the details. We've got some medical stuff on the side, some monitors and medical equipment. As we continue to turn this vehicle, more details on the inside. Nothing really on that side. There are no traditional seats to put your figures into here. You can put them in there, lay them down, but there's that spring-loaded mechanism in the way. In addition to that, the front seat here, we've got a steering wheel, looks like some clutches, dashboard, radio, air conditioner, nice amount of detail in there. So my first thought or concern when I found out this is a wrestling breakaway vehicle was Am I going to be able to use this for a regular ambulance? Are the pieces going to stand firmly or are they going to fall out constantly? Is this thing going to be super delicate and fragile so I can't even handle it and play with it? But I must say, the pieces stand firmly. Very pleased with how they executed that. I have the breakaway car from a long time ago. That's why I was willing to buy two of these. I was very confident they were going to be exactly like the car, and they sure are. So next, let's check out some wrestling action figures see which ones will fit in this vehicle and which ones will not. Then, after we look at some various lines with this ambulance, we'll check it out compared with some other vehicles as well. So in front of you are four different Mattel Wrestling Elite figures. These are some of the bigger wrestlers that I have. I wanted to see if the largest ones could fit in this or not. Well, for starters, here's Vince McMahon and Braun Strowman at the front. Two absolutely huge, large Mattel wrestling figures, and they fit in there with complete clearance and ease. Loving that so much. And if you wanted to see how they'd fit into the back, the figures themselves are taller than the actual doorway, and they can't stand upright in there without you opening up the ceiling. Opening up the ceiling does allow you to play with the figures, move them around, and fit a bunch in there. So take one of these elite figures. Like I said, taller than the doorway, but you could have him as he's sort of stepping into the ambulance. And you can definitely fit the stretcher with a figure and a couple of other figures in here. You can barely see the Undertaker's head sticking up out of the top. Overall, can accommodate a lot of figures. Here are some Mattel basic wrestling figures next to this thing. I tried to pick a wide variety of large and smaller basic figures. But you know what, if the Elite figures, it's going to be no contest. These basic ones should fit just fine. And yes, these basic figures fit in the front just fine. Complete clearance. It's almost too big for them in some ways. Look at the Baron sinking all the way in there. Their legs can just go so far into here. Can accommodate a ton of different figures. And I decided to put a couple of the other ones in the back. Have them sort of sitting down. As you can see here, it looks kind of dumb because there's no actual chairs there, but you can fit probably four figures like this inside of there. I'd love to see some mods where people add seats to the inside of the ambulance. You can even look at the figures through the top, put them in there, arrange them, etc. And now let's check it out with some action figures from different various companies to see how they fit in both scale and style wise in case you want to know which lines will fit in this thing. In front of you are four different action figure lines from DST or Diamond Select Toys. I got John Wick here, one of the biggest Diamond Select figures out there. Let's see if they fit in the front. And absolutely no problem. They fit in there with ease, complete clearance, seven inch Diamond Select figures. Great vehicle. Here it is, next to some McFarlane action figures. Of course, they fit perfect in the front as well. 
then with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And the DC Direct figures are also fitting in there very nicely. One of the problems, even these larger 7 inch scale figures, there's just so much leg room. The guy can slide all the way down in there. Here it is with some NECA figures. And yes, they fit in the front nicely as well. Then, next is some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. And yes, they're going to fit in, and pretty much any action figure line smaller will fit in. They're almost to the point where they're starting to look too small for this thing. And here, some more of its fellow Mattel figures. In front of you are some Mattel, DC, and Jurassic Park figures. And as expected, they fit as well, shrinking down into the seat. Almost looking too small for this vehicle. Then, next is some Mafex figures. And of course, they fit. And almost too small. If you can really push this guy way down in there. This thing has so much room, so much leg room. And here, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And as expected, they fit, kind of sliding inward. I put their hands up here to sort of keep them from sliding in. Working out okay. Then, some SH Figure Arts action figures. They fit, they're too small, leaning too far forward. I even put their hands up. And at this point, it's not even starting to look good anymore. Look how much room there is above his head. And probably the smallest line I collect, some Jazzwares figures. Here they are in the front. If you position them just right with their arms, they don't look too bad. And that almost goes to any lines. They can look good, but they fall down and sink in there so easily. And now, let's check it out compared with some other action figure vehicles. We'll try to focus on the 112 scale. Here it is next to the Breakaway Wrestling Car. This thing came out a little more than a year ago. It's scaled up for the same size figures, mainly 6, 7 inch larger wrestling figures. This ambulance is quite a bit taller than this car. Here it is next to a knockoff wrestling ambulance. I got this thing from Amazon.com a long time ago and I must say this thing sucks. It is horrible. If you see this or any of the other variations of this, do not get it. This thing is a horrible knockoff bootleg quality thing. I think it's associated with ringside collectibles, but I could be wrong about that. I also think it even costs more than this Wreck and Ambulance, and that is depressing in itself. Here it is, next to a Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine from the movie Scoob. This thing is not exactly the 112 scale, but it does accommodate some of the larger action figures as well. And here, next to a Ninja Turtles Cowbunga Carl Party Van. This is probably one of the best vans for 6 and 7 inch scale figures. It'll fit the larger figures and accommodate a whole bunch in the back as well. Here it is, next to an ET van. This is also not exactly 1 12th scale, but I always thought the van was really cool and does accommodate at least some of these 6 inch figures. Here it is, next to a McFarlane Fortnite Quad Crasher. This is intended for 7 inch figures as well. And here, next to the McFarlane DC Multiverse Bat Raptor also intended for 7 inch scale figures. And here it is next to a Mattel DC Multiverse Justice League Batmobile. This is not the radio controlled version. This one here is also for 6 and 7 inch scale figures. And here next to a DC Direct Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. This thing is massive and long. This is more so intended for 6 and a half or so inch figures. Here are these two ambulances filling up at the local Extreme Gas gas station. This is an Extreme Sets gas station pop-up diorama. These things scale up great with this. And thinking of some other things you can do with this. If you are skilled and patient, you could paint this whole thing black, write GCPD or SWAT on the side and have a great SWAT vehicle. Here are a couple of those ambulances driving around my Gotham City and over there as well. 
Here's this ambulance stopping at a stop sign before it continues down that road. Here's the GCPD in a hostage situation. You can see they've got all the police out and about using these ambulances as sort of a blockade. Got a barricade down there, police line, even had the sniper on the roof. They're all worried here because Joker has a bomb strapped to himself and he's gonna blow up. There's only one person that can stop them. So overall, this vehicle is excellent. I'm extremely pleased with this purchase. This thing here looks like a regular ambulance more or less. The breakaway parts aren't too bad. They stay in there pretty nicely when handling this thing. I absolutely love the fact that it accommodates everything I collect, even the largest stuff, 7.25 inches or so. Whether you're a wrestling fan or just a generic 112 scale diorama and vehicle collector, this thing is for you. At $40, I'd say it's a great value. That's a price of two action figures. And look how big this thing is. If I were to rate this vehicle, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. The only things that would make it a little bit better if you could sort of utilize the back part just a little more. But overall, very pleased with this thing. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it in the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.